Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kurt, your Diagnostic Consultant. For those of you who are new to the channel, I sell and I specialize in the tech support of the Maxisys product line. This week what I want to cover is the top 10 questions of the week. So those of you who don't know, this is a series of questions that I receive that will reveal the coding and limitations of the Maxisys diagnostic tools. We're going to talk about VIN writing, key coding, um, adjusting the speed uh, limiter on certain vehicles, and much, much more. So with that, let's jump right into it, guys. So question number one, can the Maxisys MS906BT set the fuel sink on a Dodge Ram truck? The answer to this question is yes. In fact, I was able to get a spec sheet on what uh, uh, vehicles it could do. And you can see here, the only two exemptions is the 4.0 liter Jeep, JTEC 98, and the 5.9 HD. Um, but everything else you see here, you'll be able to reset the fuel sink with the Maxisys Nano 6BT. Question number two, can the Maxisys Elite perform CVT transfluid deterioration PID reset on a 2015 Nissan Altima? Yes, um, that is on the tablet. Okay, that's confirmed by an engineer. Um, is it possible to write a VIN number on a BCM on a 20, 2005 Chevy Cobalt? Unfortunately not, and I don't think there's any plans on doing that either. Um, next question, can you add a key on a, for a Ford F-150 2015? Um, no, but the engineers told me that by the end of November, they will have uh, this feature for that particular year making model. All right. Remember guys, key coding, it's, it's maybe a 2.5 out of 5, may, maybe a 3. So, you know, just make sure that if you're going to invest in this tool to do key coding, um, you know, let me know what vehicle you're working on, then I can validate if there's key coding on it. Um, next question, can the MS906 TS uh, code and configure a used BCM module on a 2008 Buick Lucerne? The answer is no. Um, right now, none of our devices can do that. So yeah, most of these questions, guys, are actually from people who work uh, on their own vehicles. So. Just because it's not on here doesn't mean it doesn't have the feature. Like it's it's vehicle specific, and what I've gathered is on a lot of the newer vehicles, like 2010 upward, you will start to see um, those type of features like this on the tablet. Okay. Question number six: Can I adjust the speed limiter on a Dodge Ram 350 um, 2017 with the Nano 6 BT? Uh, the answer is yes. Um, if you uh, look for a function called set maximum vehicle speed, this function does adjust the speed limiter. So this is really good for people who work on fleets. If you have a bunch of fleets that are using this um, you know, type of truck, uh, you can adjust the speed limiter on it. Okay. And as I said, this is a vehicle specific feature. It doesn't mean that the Altel can do it for all. You know every single vehicle all right um question number seven on a 2006 bmw 330i can i reset the oil spark plug and other component based service interval reminders you know what let me just show you let me give you a quick tour so right here uh it's not plugged into a car so if, if it's not connecting to certain menus you'll see why but I just want to give you guys a quick overview of what is on the tool. Um, let's go to CBS Reset. Let's see what's here. Um, let me go back. Speed this up a bit. Uh, where is it? I saw that feature somewhere. Okay, there we go. So you can do all your service resets here. Okay, you can see it for the spark plug, everything. Okay. Um, 
Let me go over something else. Oh, it's not supported. Chassis steering. What do we have here? Steering angle sensor. Okay. There's a lot of coding you can do on BMs. It's very strong. Let's see. Navigation seats. Uh, power supply. Like when you put the battery on, you got to register it. Um, telecommunications. You get a navigation system. And um, more importantly, the programming. So, yeah, that's one of the value propositions of the tool. How you can do the programming from the tablet for BMW and Mercedes. Next question. Can you do variable valve tests on a 2012 Jeep Wrangler with a 906 BT? Uh, the answer is yes. If you go into the PCM module under special functions, you'll see that variable valve timing option is abbreviated VVT. Um, question number nine. All right, and this is one of uh, from one of my subscribers. Um, I have not seen any YouTube videos yet on any of the small illuminated dongle, the VCI, um, that pairs up to the MS908P. So I called Autel New York and told me the small dongle, the VCI 100, will not work except with the MS906BT, TS, and TS608. Sure would like to see a video of whether this dongle replacement would work. Um, all right, so... I just want to clarify something because I do get a lot of calls from people uh, thinking that I work with, you know, Altel. I'm independent. So um, the information that, you know, Altel told this subscriber doesn't reflect me. Like it's, we're, we're completely different. And just as a rule of thumb, guys, what I tell people to make things simple, whoever you buy the tool from is responsible for you. Now, some Companies may have, you know, Autel as their uh, general tech support, but <clears throat> rule of thumb, whoever you buy it from is responsible for you. So to give you clarity on this matter, when I have special offers, and um, let's say I have an irresistible offer, well, I, well someone's buying a Maxi says Pro or Elite, I'll throw in one of these dongles in there. So... When they get the tool, um, it's automatically paired with the J2534, but if they don't want to use that, they'll use the small dongle, and they just go under the VCI manager, and they pair it up. And I do this personally. I do this personally, so the information that was told to you was incorrect. So to answer your question, yes, you can use that dongle to pair it up with your Mac Assist Pro. Uh, last question. Um... I want to buy the Elite, but I was wondering if uh, if it would be restricted to use the J254 and manufacturer subscription to program ECU modules. I'm from the UK. You know what's ironic? Um, I was just hired to help a client in the UK um, who I think he wanted to program, I think it was a Ford Fiesta. He wanted to program the transmission control module. The car was sitting there for two weeks. He called a lot of like multiple mobile mechanics and they had like, you know, the Chinese software to try to program it, but the car was too new. It was a 2015. So that's when he called me up and um, we were able to do it. Now on the surface, I know some manufacturers will look at your IP address and they may not give you access to that, but there is ways around it. Okay. Um, the other thing is too, Depending on the origin of the car, it might not be in, like, let's say, a U.S. database. So it, it varies, but I don't know. With Ford, I've had success. I know VW and Audi, you can use that overseas. It, it just depends, but there there are ways around it, okay? So with that, guys, um, I'm going to wrap it up. This is just going to be a quick one. Um, if you would like to purchase, you can call me, 844-210-9020. Or, um, you know, leave me a comment if you like this video. Let me know what other content you would like to see. But with that, guys, i got to get to bed. It's late. Uh, you have a good one, and stay tuned for the next episode. Bye.